Hi there lovelies! Before we bring you to our journey to San Francisco, we want to say a big thank you to Chictopia for sending us to SF. Everyone in Chictopia was so welcoming and they took the time to introduce us to many beautiful and fascinating places. Also, we want to say a massive thank you to you guys as well because this trip wouldn't have been possible without your support and love. So thank you from the bottom of our heart. Now, shall we begin the journey? Instinctly. We stayed at a place called Garden Studio that is located in Sausalito just across the Golden Gate Bridge. The place was very cozy and had this contemporary slash rustic interior design which was a new experience for us compared to our minimalistic place back in LA. If you ever visit San Francisco, you must stop by at Fog Harbor Fish House restaurant that's located at Pier 39 in Fisherman's Wharf. They serve one of the most insanely delicious calamari and chili lime shrimp salad and seafood penny with fresh clams and mussels in a tomato cream sauce that were simply superb. we had a very quick meet and greet at front of Fidden and thank you so much Amy, Winnie and Sarah for coming out and also thank you so much for those who couldn't show up but message us on Instagram for support. We'll make sure to notify earlier and choose weekends for next meet and greet. Bowden Sourdough Bakery and Cafe sells amazingly delicious sourdough bowl with clam chowder soup and they even have sourdough that are shaped in various types of animals. We dare anyone could take a bite on those cute little friends. After a good night rest from 6 hours drive, we finally get to meet Chictopia on our second day. We won't lie, but yes, we're having a little bit of panic attack, but honestly, everyone was so friendly and welcoming that time just flew by and we had so much fun hanging out with the team. We miss you, Chictopia! Chictopia took us to lunch at Bun Mi and this was our very first time ever trying Vietnamese sandwich. We ordered grilled five spiced chicken with caramel mayo and again it did not fail to impress our taste buds. Thanks to Chictopia, we even had the chance to ride the BART which stands for Bay Area Rapid Transit and it was very similar to LA's Metro Rail. Our first destination for thrift shopping was Close Contact that carries many treasured vintage items. If you want to see how we transform this particular vintage dress, make sure to stay tuned in our channel. Next stop, surprisingly, what caught our attention the most was not the clothing, but these braided plant hangers and the vintage atmosphere of the store. We took a quick short break at Four Bear Coffee Shop. The place was very spacious compared to a typical coffee shop and it was interesting to see how each barista seemed to have its own style with a sense of freedom unlike the conventional baristas. If you're a fan of murals and graffiti arts, Mission District might be the perfect place for you to visit. We still can't believe all of these are hand-drawn as there were so much detail, dedication, and perseverance for every each creation. I 
Why there's a black sitting on his class rap Our last stop was b Rye Creamery store that serves handmade ice cream made with organic ingredients. It was actually painful having to choose among from so many unique flavors, but in the end, we decided to go with mint chip flavor. The texture was rich and creamy, and this would definitely be our first stop in our next visit. Remember the thrifted dress from a cult context? Well, we're transforming it to something new, especially for Levy from Shiktopia, so make sure to stay tuned in our channel. You know the is just my course of action, which on our last day before heading back to LA, we stopped by at Britex Fabric Store located in Financial District near Union Square. We're a bit overwhelmed when we entered the store because the selections were so extensive. Price was a bit steep, but the quality spoke for itself. Inside the Neiman Marcus, you can get to see this jaw-dropping mosaic dome ceiling of Rotunda, which made us felt as if we were in an art museum, not a department store. We hope you enjoyed this vlog and once again thank you so much to you guys and Chictopia for giving us a chance to build beautiful memories in this charming city of San Francisco. If you want to see how we usually pack for a trip, please check out Chictopia's channel by clicking the left side of the screen. We'll see you again very soon and until then, have fun!